With the same tenacity and leadership demonstrated by St. Mother Theodore Guerin as she led her small band of pioneer sisters into the woods of Indiana in 1840, Janice Searles Vanderhaar, class of 1959, has lived her life as a peacemaker and advocate for justice. Like St. Mother Theodore, Janice's dedication has never wavered. Janice joined the Sisters of Providence while studying at SMWC. As a sister, her passion for peace took hold during the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, and Vatican II. She left the community after 12 years and married Professor Gerard Vanderhaar, whom she met while studying and advocating for peace. Together they began their vocation in peacemaking. The couple embraced a life of justice and peace. For the next 35 years, Janice, sometimes as an individual, sometimes with Gerard, continued her zeal for Jesus' gospel message of peace and nonviolence. In the 1970s, Janice joined Pax Christi USA, a Catholic peace organization, and spread the message of peace to other countries. She served on its U.S. National Council while remaining active in her Pax Christi local chapter. To increase their local impact, Janice and Jerry founded the Mid-South Peace and Justice Center, which continues to advocate powerfully for peace and justice in the Memphis area today. At the same time, they worked to establish the Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence, now located in Rochester, New York. Retired Bishop Thomas Gumbleton, Diocese of Detroit, said of Janice and her work that she, quote, entered into a struggle to have her life reflect the way of Jesus and translated that commitment of action into her world travels and then back home to teaching, organizing, writing, demonstrating, and speaking about nonviolence. What a remarkable journey she's had, end quote. Her world journey included a peace pilgrimage to Hiroshima and student mission to the Philippines. She and Jerry were staff members at the International Peace Center in Antwerp, Belgium, from 1979 to 1980. Wanting to create a cross-cultural education opportunity, Janice led the effort to bring Ukraine students to Memphis for an exchange program. Her life's work for peace and justice have been recognized by many. Christian Brothers University awarded her and Jerry the Bishop Carol T. Dozer Award for Peace and Justice in 2003 noting the couple's efforts to create a more peaceful, just world, and their lifelong devotion to teaching, nurturing, and building hearts and souls. In 2006, Janice was named an Ambassador of Peace for Leadership at the annual Pax Christi U.S. National Conference. In 2007, the Muslims of Memphis recognized Janice as a world-class force for her contributions to interfaith dialogue. She and Jerry helped establish the Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence at Christian Brothers University. Their convictions were shared and embraced by the university community. Following Jerry's 2005 death, Janice established the annual Gerard V. Vanderhaar Symposium at CBU, which features experts and scholars in peace and justice. The symposium continues to this day. Today, her commitment to social justice has expanded to the rights and needs of veterans. Together with her husband, Ed Wallen, They share fully in one another's passions, and they work together to secure funding for the future West Tennessee Care Home that will serve veterans suffering from trauma and disabilities. Janice has come full circle as peace activist and heartfelt supporter of U.S. veterans. I am opposed to war, Janice has stated, but I totally support veterans who have served our country. Following Jesus' beatitude, Blessed Are the Peacemakers, is our 2019 recipient of the St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award. Janice's life's work reflects the tradition of St. Mother Theodore Guerin, and she would be proud of her daughter of the woods. Janice has set an example for all SMWC graduates and current students in being a faithful voice for good, holy actions for peace and justice. Monsignor Algert Kirk, Janice's former pastor and retired priest of the Diocese of Memphis, writes, I never cease to be amazed by Janice's energy and commitment. What separates her from most people is that her love knows no bounds, and her imagination refuses to be stymied by common-sense notions and expectations. It is with great pleasure that the St. Mary of the Woods College Alumni Association presents Janice Searles Vanderhaar with the 2019 St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award.